Hey everybody, this is Dave Ko, and I'm back with another video. This time we're going to give you a little gift. Yep, something for free. Uh, I've been working on a little MoGraph thing for you. I noticed that a lot of YouTubers don't have like titles or lower thirds. So what I did was just made kind of a minimal uh, title motion graphic template, also called a MoGert file which is a MoGraph template and I can you can bring it into Premiere Pro anyone can bring it into their Premiere Pro and you don't have to know a lick of After Effects and you can have a pretty slick title card minimalist kind of styling and you can also uh, shrink it down and put it in the corner and use it as a lower third if you're doing interviews some, someone's name pops up or maybe it's uh, you know a place and you're trying to put uh, the name of the city or the the town that you're you know showcasing in your videos I just thought this would be a nice little add-on for all of you youtubers out there who are looking to raise your production value a little bit for nothing and all you have to do is click the link below and it'll take you to a site and then you just put in your email so we can send out the Mogert file to you and then just follow these instructions. Simple as that. If you think this is something that's going to be of value, uh, really would appreciate if you liked and subscribed and uh, click the little bell after you subscribe so you get notified the next time we put up another video. And comment, let me know if you like this video and if you would like to see more of these videos or if you'd like to have more of these templates and we'd love to provide them for you. So let's get started. All right, here we go. Okay, so here we are in Premiere Pro and uh, before we start, what we need to do is, um, you'll probably be in the editing mode. You'll see all these different modes up here, um, whether you're doing an assemble edit or editing or color effects or, uh, audio or graphics what we're gonna do is go into our graphics tab here and you'll see if you have preloaded graphics in here lower thirds and titles and whatnot um, these are all mogurt files they're they're MoGraph templates for uh, for premiere and so what we need to do is um, we're gonna import it from our um, from our downloads so when you went to sign up um, for the emails that we can send you the Mogert file here's what it is it's Dave Co underscore titles zero one Mogert um, or MoGraph template that's what the suffix is for file suffix anyway so um, what we want to do is basically just grab this from your folder I just have a Chrome's download folder where um, my whatever I download from Chrome goes in here um, just grab it and we're just gonna drop it in here in the essential graphics tab anywhere in here and then um, if it gets kind of if you have lots of these Mogert files what you can do is you can just search up here Dave Co and I will search that and there it is so we grab that and just click and drag boom um, Okay, so what you'll notice though is that these Mogert files, they're not, you have to render them. So uh, at some point you're gonna have to render to the in and out or the effect or whatever. Okay, but even before you render it, you can preview it. So it just uh, opens up this way and then goes there and there's a little thing that goes around the titles to give it some sparkle and then it closes it up Zip, and there we go. Um, so I accidentally put it in the video one. You want to put it on top so that you can put it on top of your video. Um, so I'll grab my footage file, which I got from Pexels.com, which is a free... Well, they, they have paid footage as well as free stock footage. So you can go in there. There's some pretty decent stock footage. Some of it's not that great. Uh, some of it like this is pretty nice. So you go in, um, drop it in, and then you, you're, you're rocking and rolling right here. Um, I don't know how well it's going to play. Oh, it plays pretty smooth even be before rendering. Because it's not a real heavy Mogert file. There's not a lot of effects on it, really. It's pretty straightforward. But you can go in and basically change whatever you want. If um, Since we were in the Browse, there's a Browse tab and an Edit tab here. If you look on the top right, in the Essentials gra Essential Graphics tab, the Browse tab obviously is for searching, you know, whatever... Um, whatever templates that you have 
uh, preloaded or, or have loaded into your computer in the local templates folder. Um, and then there's the edit tab, which is you have to select it though. If you don't select it, it's not going to come up. If you have your any other video files or any other, I mean, clips selected, nothing's going to show up there. So you have to select your Mogurt file um, layer, which is that. And then in there, you'll see there's uh, creating titles. We'll just move this along the, the timeline so that we can see. Um, creating titles can be anything. Can you change it to whatever you want? Uh, let's say uh, a golden gate bridge, right? And then we have the Golden Gate Bridge. Uh, and you'll see that I built it so that there is the same type of buffering. You can change it here with the title box size. You can make it bigger so it's kind of loose, nice and loose. Or you can make it real tight. To me, that doesn't look great, but you know, everyone has their own taste. So um, you can play around with that. I think the default, you go to 100. And that's the default setting, which I think looks pretty good. And then you can also change the um, the default opacity is 32, but you can change it to make it completely opaque, black, or you can change it the other way where it goes. Uh, I think it's about 50% white. So whatever you want to do. And you can change that color too. Look, want it to be red or, uh, I don't know, let's say... Um, Let's pick something that's within the color scheme here. Uh, maybe somewhere in there. So you can pick blue, you can pick whatever, like some crazy green color if you want. Um, whatever you want. I think for this, the black was pretty nice. And, uh, oops. We'll go a little dark. Yeah, that's nice. That's good. Something like that. And you can also ch uh, change the text color. So if you want to change it to red, you can. Again, I kind of like the white, the simplicity of the white. The template was sort of built uh, around the idea of, you know, just simplistic white, you know, um, white on black, positive negative stuff. Um, you can use different, you can change the font, you can change the font um, characteristics, the different types of, you know, and it'll change see how the box shape changes as well so whatever you fan whatever you fancy um, um, what else do we have a oh, position so say you don't want to necessarily use it for a title but you want to use it for like a lower third um, so you can bring this over here you can just go to make sure you have this selected and then you can go into your effects control and you can manipulate where you want it to be. So now, and maybe you want to scale it down a little bit. So lower third. Something like that. Um, and maybe you want to make this a little bit. There you go. And so you can have a lower third. Maybe it's someone's name comes up. Um, my name. Dave Co. and then because it's the template is made so it's centered, so you just have to move it over, but something like that. So you have an interview or something, and this will pop up on this side on another plane, which is kind of appropriate, maybe because we're on this scene where we're kind of drones flying over the San Francisco bridge or the the um, Golden Gate Bridge, something like that. Anyways. Yeah, you can play around with that. Um, it's kind of nice centered. That was originally what it's built for, so, um, you know. But whatever whatever you feel like doing with it, uh, you, it's, it's, your, it's your template to play around with. So there you have it. YouTube main title. There you go. Something like that. Cool. Thanks for joining me on that video. Hope it was helpful for you. Hope you got some value from it and hope you enjoyed the template. Let me know how it goes. Comment below down here. 
Uh, let me know if you liked it, if you didn't like it, what you would like me to change. I would like to give you uh, more of these templates with more variables. You can change different things about it, just like different styles. I'd love to make some more templates. Uh, otherwise, like, subscribe if you want to get more of this kind of stuff. And uh, click the bell, of course, if you want to get the notification. Oh, the thumbs up would really help. And then share it with someone else you think might benefit from having this template. All right, and keep making those videos, and I will see you on the next one. Ciao! Mm -hmm.